Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's another fine day where we are going to unbox yet another fitness band. Yes, I know, I know, they're starting to get confusing. Well, they're beyond starting to, but they each have their own little unique characteristics. This one is no exception. You can see it's already on inside the bag. I put it back so you can see how pretty it's packaged. Look at this nice metal band that's wrapped in, uh, oh, you know, a covering for it. Uh, really sweet um, presentation here. We've got a cover on top of the front, which we can take off. And we've got a charging port and um, a raised area for the heart rate that'll block out any extraneous outside light. Uh, two hooks that hang around here and then the removable band pins just snap right in there and you can get it in a variety of band colors this again is a, a nice black band metal band inside the box we have the little charging uh, cable with its two pins that magnetically couples the other way there we go and medium strength I always do this check it out not strong enough to hold it but strong enough to charge it and inside here we have the Q3 use instruction Q3 yeah I haven't even told you what it is yet <laughs> from Banggood it's the new wear Q3 it's in pre-order right now by the time you see this because I'm so backed up on these, this may be a week or two ahead. Um, it probably is already going to be available for you. But uh, check the show notes. Uh, look for the buying link down there. If we can get a coupon discount, we will. But usually pre-order are the lowest prices. So you might want to pick this up for under 25 bucks as it is. The Newware Q3. In terms of what it's got installed in it, it's... Um, Oh, all of this good stuff, a little bit of memory, uh, not a whole lot, but there's some flash memory. And that's so that you can actually customize some of the watch faces. That's one of the big deals about this one. It's a 1.3 inch, 240 by 240, full touch panel, and 10 days normal use, 60 days of standby. It's app tethering to the Hayband app. Well, look at that. And so forth. We've got languages sports records, a real-time heart measurement, and a blood pressure and blood oxygen, and supposedly a one-button uh, test uh, for a full physical exam, and others. Okay, so as we get into the manual, you'll find the QR code right there. That, uh, well, let's start on the English side, how about? Okay. The QR code that you'll scan to get the Hayband app or just download it from the Google Play Store. Then we get into more information about how you connect it up, the operation, and the overall display. You can see some of the watch faces they have in there. And then all these colorful, individual, three-dimensional pages that give you all of your um, activities and things that you can do. It's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Wait till you see this thing in action. And some basic parameters, and that's it. Okay, all right. We got everything we need. Let's charge it up and turn it on. Well, I removed the saran wrap around the outside, adjusted the buckle a bit, and this is what it looks like on. So let's run through the pages. We start out really quickly with the time. It already went past, and then we get into a page that lets us, there we go, is the time, lets us see our step count, calories burned, distance travel. Look at that graphic, isn't that beautiful? Last night's sleep time. Here's the uh, heart rate indicator, and that's my last reading. And if you're not fast, it times out and it goes right back to the beginning. Press and hold is how you get it to activate. And it should give you a reading directly. It shouldn't take very long. Again, it's using the PPG technology of the little green diodes in there. 75, 76. Okay. Press and hold should get us out of that. And then blood pressure. And there's the reading I did last time. And again, if I press and hold, you'll just see it go into that. And cycle back again. After blood pressure, 
You get into messaging. This is where you could read your uh, push notifications and then settings and then back to time. And if I press and hold here, I can switch to some uh, different time displays. There's an analog one. Kind of dim right now, it looks like. Not sure if we can adjust the brightness from the app. We'll have to check it out. And here's one. This is one I think you can set the background uh, on your own from within the app. And then we go back to this one again. Now, let's get through here again to this area where we go into settings. Here's uh, your remote camera capability, remote music. This is a stopwatch. And then there's the information on the band itself. Now we're here to power off, see that symbol, or reset the device. And then we're back out of this again. Okay, how we get out of it, I imagine right here. Well, that gives us more information. Probably just wait for it to time out. Three, two, one. And that'll take us back to the basic watch face again. All right, that's the operation of the, uh, the band itself. Here, if I press and hold, and we don't go anywhere. That's just going to be your cumulative step count information. Last night's sleep time give you a summary if you have one and we've done that we have looked at that if you have any messages you press and hold and it should bring them up and settings we looked at okay so that's everything we're seeing on the band itself let's take a look at the tethering app it's called hey band Hey, band. And this is it from the Google Play Store. I just installed it. So your first time of opening it, you have to agree to all the different permissions. And you have to allow it location, managing phone calls, accessing photos, sending SMS messages, and accessing your contacts. So once you allow all of that stuff to happen, it's going to load up and... You can log in or register, or you have more login options through any of these third-party apps. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, log in. Once you're logged in, you land in this home page down here. But of course, we're not connected yet. So we have to come over. See, it says disconnected. It's going to search for the bracelet, which should automatically be, uh, be on. And here we come. Looking for a few different ones showing up. If you remember when we were over here in the settings and we went over here, it says it's the C98BE40. That's this top one. So we're going to select that one and it's going to tether together. Got my battery from the watch in here. Got the time is completely updated. Stability setting, application permission, notification access, and application protection lock. Okay, interesting things in there. Binding, we are already bound to the device. Nothing new there. Your reminder settings, you can uh, put in all of the different alarms you want, sedentary reminders, have it notify you for incoming calls and so forth, and do not disturb which will turn on a do not disturb time frame that you don't want it to uh, be giving you any information. And now here's blood pressure. You turn this on and it'll do a uh, blood pressure reading and it's set for 24 hours a day uh, at an interval of once an hour and it looks like you can't change that. Okay. Oh, you have to update the firmware and the bracelet to that level or above to activate that feature, it says. We have it turned on. And then you have your automatic measurement of heart rate. It will record uh, heart rate every five minutes. All right. So these are all functions that you can turn on, but they're off by default. So remember to turn those on. Style settings. You have a different clock style which is just an on or off toggle and universal settings, which include automatic display. We're going to have it on the left arm and you have it turned on. So you should be able to twist your wrist and see it. We've got lock for band. 
Oh, I'm sorry, look for band. <laughs> okay, this is where we would actually, you know, go out and look for it, I guess, if it's lost. Your time settings in, what, a.m. and p.m. or 24-hour. That's where you can set that. Heart rate calibration, reset, clear data. You can tie it to WeChat Sports. You can turn on weather so you can get your weather information, a music control, display time, how long it is before it times out. Wow, okay, I want to increase that somewhat. I'm not as concerned about battery life as I am to be able to read it before the darn thing turns off. Okay, DIY home. Aha, uh -huh. background image, mask and optional things that you can put on your uh, watch face, it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna change to that one and that one. Oh, look, you can take a photo or choose from your library. Wow, nice. And then you can have all these different things down at the bottom, one or the other. Step count, calories burned, the weather, or heart rate. So I'm gonna do heart rate. And that's going to be customized for my home screen. Is that what I see here now? Probably on a specific one. Maybe on that one. Yeah, I got heart rate down at the bottom now. See that? Okay. Connection ball. Look at that thing bouncing around. I have no idea what this is, folks. Uh, and it's you have display to turn it on or off. I think that's on the app. I think that's a little ball that shows up on the app that you can launch and floats on top of other uh, other things. But I'm guessing uh, not a different kind of an interface app here. Not totally familiar with it. Here's our firmware. And it says I do need to do an upgrade. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah, there's the old one. That's the new one. And uh, we'll continue after I upgrade it. Okay, it's done, and now the firmware says it's the matching number, so we have upgraded the firmware. Well, what differences have has it made? We've got the same watch face. It took out the reading for the heart rate, though. Uh, that's the same. Sleep time, heart rate, blood pressure. Oh, this is new, a workout section. Press and hold. Oh, wow, look at the graphics. I guess that's a uh, walking or running. There's biking, push-ups, whoa, swimming. I went too fast. Tennis. Oh, this is fun, huh? Okay, there, there, that one, another one. That looks more like a walk than a run. And swimming. This thing supports swimming. Cool. And uh, yeah, tennis and so forth. Press and hold, and that gets us out of here. Back to the general category. And then there's our uh, messaging and uh, settings. Okay, let's get back in here then. We've done all of this. That's everything related to the device. When you come over here, this is about you. You get to set uh, your health goals, friendships if you have some. There's a remote camera, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's put that on here. So if you click on here, you'll take a picture. That's the remote camera. You can set your Unix uh, for metric or imperial, which I'm going to go to inches and miles. And then an about tells you about the app and a help section. So that's there and there and there. And now we're back here to the main display for today. I don't have any data to show you on this. If I did, you'd see your step count, miles, calories burned, and minimum time, I guess, in your uh, exercise routine. There would be the uh, sleep data. It's uh, never refreshed, so I guess it's trying to refresh with the band. Your deep sleep and light sleep and all of your actual last night data would appear there. Now I guess I pulled it down, so it's going to try to refresh before I can move on. Then I come over to here, and now this is that one-touch uh, testing for all of these different areas. Heart rate, blood oxygen, blood pressure, and energy, which you can get individually. Or if I press here, the correct setting, make the measurement more accurate. All right, let's determine the correct setting. It's going to do a 30-second countdown. I believe what it's doing right now is calibrating. Uh, so it's getting a baseline measurement. 
Now, the band looks a little slipped on my arm. It's actually supposed to be up higher above that little bump that's on the outside of your wrist. So take it with a grain of salt right now. We're just experimenting with how this thing works. We got three seconds left for it to do its bass line. Okay, and now it came up with all of these different numbers. Energy's good. Now I'm going to reposition this. The ideal place to wear it is above that little protrusion on your on your wrist. Looks like I switched to a different watch face too. I, oh, okay. It's back to that one. Maybe that's the uh, resting one. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay. Let's determine it. Now, my last ones were 63 for the heart rate, blood oxygen 98%, which is great. 124 over 86, that's believable. And energy is good. We'll see how consistent we are. Again, we're in this third tab over of information on the app itself. Oftentimes you guys wonder, is he actually going to be able to talk for 30 seconds without taking a breath? No, I'm going to take a breath. There. All right, new data, higher, higher, still energy is good. And that's what I get on that one. Now, when I get in here, these are the different workouts it looks like that you can do with GPS from the app itself. And uh, they'll accumulate here. And then this one is your uh, regular every five minute heartbeat that it's taking, heart rate and uh, some information related to that. That looks like blood oxygen probably there. Some other information, and that's probably a pie chart that fills in. And this is for today's date, and you can go to different dates. So we're just starting it out, but it has uh, we, we switched on that continuous heart rate capability. So overall, we've got a, a nice robust app here with um, your sports section and all the other data accumulation with information on how you can set up your band and with information that you'd use for your specific um, configurations. And the device is available from Newware. It's called the Q3 and a uh, really nice little thing. It looks, it looks promising, very promising. Check out the show notes down below. It's in pre-order right now, but it should be um, shipping pretty soon. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.